very good morning to you uh, today uh, this video will talk about how to create the charts and uh, as usual uh, I'm not going to talk uh, talk about the basic things right in this video you will come to know about uh, a very uh, a different way of you know creating a chart and uh, I hope you like this technique and it, it is going to actually increase your you know confidence when it comes to uh, you know uh, preparing a different different kind of a uh, uh, charts so guys uh, somebody uh, said that uh, in my class in my training that is there any way that they can create a chart uh, uh, you know sort of chart which has uh, which which represents mass as you know a subject and physics as another subject and plus the total you know so what they want to see is they want to see mass the you know the gra the in in that graph they would like to see the uh, marks in mass and then they would like to see the you know marks in physics and uh, apart from that what uh, distinct about this uh, you know chart is that they'll also need to see the total you know in this and uh, it has to be a column chart right so that's what they so uh, I tried a lot I actually uh, googled uh, and uh, you know um, I found something very fascinating and uh, it was actually not so easy to be very frank uh, to uh, <laughs> you know make this technique but always is you know good to have a uh, such great great questions and uh, it always increases your knowledge right so let's uh, let us uh, create the chart um, let me go to this chart and um, let's create this this chart first and uh, right click select data and you need to select the data so I'm going to select the data and press OK right so your chart is created uh, what what you need is uh, I just don't want the grid lines so I'm gonna delete those grid lines now you can see that you have uh, the mass physics uh, and the total of all these students and you know it is appeared in this way now you can choose any chart of your choice uh, but preferably uh, I would say that uh, uh, you know when you choose this chart uh, try to choose this this chart stacked column right so not a problem I have to cho uh, chosen this chart but that's fine uh, you can even choose if, if I click on this chart and I and click OK this chart will be converted uh, something like this right so uh, that's a chart in fact I would say that you uh, should um, you know build let me again show you the chart this is stacked column chart right this is under falls under this column chart click on the column and use this chart right stacked column so now what you need to do is you can see that the colors like this green color is for the total and the rest of the colors are for the physics and mass so we not concentrate on the mass and physics what what it'll do is uh, we'll create another total yeah it sounds crazy yeah it is actually but you know that's the way uh, this chart can be built and that's actually the key point so uh, just one thing again right click and select data and add the legend so the legend would be again the total and uh, you'll give the name and now you've got to give this you know items the range so it has the range is d2 to d6 so d2 to d6 whatever the elements will have it will be added right so now you have mass physics and total you know two times right perfect not a problem so now I can see that uh, the total uh, one the total is there and another total I have here right so let's do one thing quickly uh, select this chart and go to the format and chart area now you have the two total elements here so select the first element and do one thing format selection and make it on the put it on the secondary axis right I'll tell you why we are doing this again the, the second total and put it again on this okay so this is already on the secondary axis I think the first one has to be on the secondary axis okay so click on that now the moment you do that uh, you see that you're able to see uh, both the things you know just uh, above each other and now what we need to do is uh, again uh, select the chart so that this design and layout format these tabs should appear and uh, now maybe you can select any of the total that's and after selecting that just go to the design and change it to the column chart this one right the moment you're gonna hover this shows as clustered column chart 
click on the column chart now you'll have all these charts one by one now what you need to do is any color which you like which you think is su suits you just leave that color and the other one like this um, I'm going to select this chart and uh, I'm, I'm I'll go to the home tab and I'll say that no fill okay so the moment you do the no fill the chart or the physics and the math marks which were hidden you know just behind to that total marks they'll start appearing now so now you have the breakage of these element uh, mass and physics and this is called the sum so this is how you can create this chart and I don't need this total this total so I'll not put them and uh, what we can do is we can take this legends just above the chart show legend right at the top I'll say top I love actually putting the legends on the top right so uh, rest of the things you can decorate your chart there are a number of the options that's not the purpose of this video and uh, if you're looking to increase the width of this uh, click on it right click on it and data series and maybe you can increase the width okay so this is how you can actually increase the width of this or maybe you can you know shrink it so that they look you know in a proportion right so uh, that's how you can uh, create this chart so this chart is a uh, unique you know in its own generally the charts are not prepared like that guys let me tell you uh, charts are quite simple of course they have a lot of techniques as well if, if I talk about the very very uh, dashing and dynamic charts they involve a lot of skills from you and uh, this chart is you know uh, I would say that one of its own kind and uh, I, I was very uh, thrilled to uh, you know have this question from one of my students in the training and uh, so we worked on that so I just thought to you know share it with you and uh, just try to <laughs> make you awesome in charts so I hope you like the video and if you're looking for some training in Excel in the VBA or maybe the MS access database that's this is my email ID uh, you can email me the stuff and uh, or maybe you can share your problem with me uh, I, I will definitely I'll not hesitate to you know uh, upload the videos for you so keep watching and please do subscribe to my channel so that you whenever you uh, whenever I upload some video you know you can get actually uh, a message from the YouTube that a video is uploaded and you can further enhance your skills right thank you so much guys and have a very very wonderful day thank you bye bye